Well, it's just a little afternoon on the 9th of September. It's Wednesday. I hope I got the date right. Let me just check and make sure. Yeah, it's the 9th. I ended the vlog a couple hours ago at four o'clock or oh, five o'clock in the morning, without necessarily without necessarily stating that I actually closing the vlog or ending the vlog. So it wasn't an obvious end to the vlog, but nonetheless, it was an end to the vlog, and this is the beginning of Wednesday's vlog uh, for September 9th. So one thing has been achieved, and we are still vlogging on a daily basis. Uh, the vlogs, I think, are getting better. There's a better conversation. Uh, there's more graphics, actually. There's a lot more graphics than there was before. I can talk about the teas I'm making. I can talk about, you know, uh, the milk tea, the base of the milk tea. I still can't pronounce it, but uh, I will do my best to try and find how to say the word. But it is... Uh, at one of the points up here, the name of the tea. I still haven't made the second batch of tea, the uh, Yuja, uh, Yuja Cha. The new batch of tea that I'm making for milk tea, because I've put the dates in there, has become a very dark red. I'll show you around lunchtime uh, when I get up fully. I haven't gotten up fully. I just got up to do some meditation and to do some gaming. Uh, I've just now finished, and I'm going to go back to bed now because I'm still kind of wiped out. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you interrupt your sleep to get up and to do whatever you need to do at the time. I don't, this is a, a, a habit of mine. It's something that occurs within your sleep, within your dream, typically. Wakes you up, you're woken up. You remain within the state that you're still thinking about it even though you're awake. And this is the situation I'm in now. My mind is still in the dream state. I'm still thinking about things that were going on in the dream. And I have also certain feelings about it. Because dr dreams are not only about the thought, it's about also the feeling of the dream as well. Uh, what your emotions are within the dream. Uh, these are the key components of uh, dreaming. And it, it, the thoughts and, and emotions don't necessarily leave because in many cases the dream hasn't been, isn't conclusive. In other words, the, the dreams I've been having are not ending in a conclusive manner where it's ended and, and the issue is over with. There is uh, extending sort of ponderances, things to think about. And so even though I'm awake, my mind is still in the mode of uh, thinking about sort of mulling over some of the experiences uh, within within the dream. And this is sort of what happens up here at the research desk. This is where I have my observatory. And you can go through a, a, a large chunk of research, and I'll show you this la later on, possibly in another video, or maybe later on today. Uh how some of the research is done. But after you've done a sort of call a section of research and you've picked up enough information, there's a period of time where you sit and think about what you've brought in. And I did some historical work today, I did some work on history. And it mixes in with the thoughts I have with the dreams. Well, in many cases, even though I am dreaming, it, the, the dreams are not sort of disconnected from the things I experience in real life, and other, even including, including the things I read. And so what happens, because reading is a significant portion of my day, and so are, my, so are the vlogs. I mean, you can tell now that the YouTube show is, is, is more significant than... And in most places, most people, they don't watch as much as I do.
But what happens, I started watching the TV, watching TV, I started watching cartoons. Because in many cases, when well, I'm waiting for different points in observation, like the next point in observation uh, won't come until later on in the afternoon, around 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, that's when I will have my uh, next observational work to do. So another six hours, uh, I have more observational work to do. I also have to do some more gaming. I'll add in another section of meditation. But because there's a six hour lag in between things, what are you going to do with that six hours? Right now I'm going to sleep for that six hours, but if I was awake, then I'd simply watch cartoons and do some off reading or I always have an extra tablet or something like that around so I can I can do off research. I, I, I can peruse, uh, if you will, the uh, stacks of my library. And I often treat the internet as a library because there's a lot of information out there and you just don't go out with any particular purpose. You just go wander around and see what you pick up. And you let your interest drive drive the, the direction that you're going in. But all, more often than not, it does come back to, in my mind, the state where you have to sit and sort of think about the things you've experienced. So you, even, even if they were... In, they were uh, random in the beginning, and ironically enough, the random walk is exactly what uh, the thesis was when I first started my research work. It was the ran it was, it was trying to understand the random walk, taking it literally. Well, if you go out and do a random walk, what are you going to achieve? <laughs> you have to have some direction. You have to be, sort of be focused in life. Well, well uh, my thesis is I'm going to try the random walk and see what the end result is. See you in a couple hours. Well, we're getting the setup just right so it doesn't fall over because it's on a precarious perch. It's kind of difficult. Uh, I'm taking a break from the YouTube stroll. Uh, I'm at Clintus right now. I've gone through enough of the stroll that. Is everything is working very well? I'm, I'm surprised at how well things are working. So let me get you the tea. This is the tea that has to be decanted. Uh, this is a three day steep. No, actually two days. Just about two days. I'm going to try it out like this to see how it works, how, how it tastes. So this is the milk tea. It's uh, spelt P-U-E-R-H. Uh, it's a Chinese word. It's a Chinese type of tea. So I'm going to decant this. I'm going to see what it tastes like, what it smells like, what it tastes like. I'm actually going to do that right now with a little bit of a, a sip from a teaspoon. Back up again. Tea should be ready. Smells nice. Smells very, very nice. Tea at room temperature is. That's when. That's when you want to taste it. Is at room temperature. You want to see how this tastes. The smell is already amazing. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very good tea. Get another spoon. right here. Sometimes I don't, I don't remember where all the spoons are. So let's give this a taste. You have a very nice taste to it. So this is more or less ready. I think I might decant this probably in about six hours. It's not quite ready yet, but I think in six hours it should be ready. So that's when I will come back and I'll redo this. Although it is very dark, 
Uh, a little of the darkness has to do with the flavor of the uh, dates. And I put in uh, some, of, some of the peach gum in there. Uh, I'll show you which, which, what I put in there. Just give me a second. I put some of this in there. These are, this is another Chinese product. It's called peach gum. And you use it to flavor different drinks and uh, food and whatever. So I put that in there as well. And we will see how everything ends up tasting. But it's not quite ready. <laughs> I have a tendency to talk off camera. Like I said, that's if you could see me. But you can't, so... Anyways, it's not quite ready yet. I thought it was going to be ready, so I came to check it, and it's not ready yet. So uh, I'll come back in another six hours and see what it's like. It is about 7.30 in the morning on Thursday. I don't know what day it is. Uh, and I've got no way to check right now. <laughs> so, I do know it's Thursday. I do know I uh, shopped last night. I do know this is the, en the, the ending segment, segment, uh, segment for Wednesday's vlog. But the actual date, the actual date's not here in front of me or... In I can't remember the life of me. <laughs> oh, I know we're in the eighth and ninth uh, that area there. Eight, 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 nine. Might be the ninth of September. Maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm in the kitchen. Uh, I make my. I'm gonna pour off the tea uh, into a jug. Uh, it should be ready. And then from there, uh, I'm going to have something to eat and then go back to bed. Uh, I got up the game at 3 a.m. Uh, to fix up one of the shields. Then I just got up now about 7 o'clock to start the next day of the gaming because it goes in cycles of days. And uh, sometimes you can move things ahead. Sometimes things are further behind, but things are ahead now. So at seven at seven thirty, we start the next day in the gaming. Uh, this is Lord's Mobile, and I am the in terms of the guild. You want to use the, the letters F four R, fight for respect, and. Um, and Dimension Cyborg as NDC. Uh, thus, those are my two guilds. It's an interesting game. People right now are starting to drop off. Um, my FOR guild is more. It's got two or three people in it. It's not going to have too many people left in in, in a couple of days because under eleven, uh, you have to keep resetting the uh, guild again and again and again uh, because the, the, it doesn't hold past eleven days. So. You have to reconstruct it again. Uh, NDC is okay, but now people are starting to drop off. Uh, I was for a while there at the 80, 80 or so people. But most people, uh, when they come in, within a couple of days, they'll stop playing. And so you'll start seeing the castle, castle sort of end off uh, 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 up 14 days. And then f after 14 days... The system automatically removes them from the guild, so you lose a player from the guild. And, and, and you start sliding down towards that magic number of 11, where the guild is no longer viable. And that's what you see, is you see most of the guilds on the uh, on uh, Lord's Mobile really aren't anything older than, every, than two months. Two months is an old, is an old guild. Uh, my, my guilds have been around for ooh, six months, almost to a year now. Uh, so, uh, in terms of the viability, in terms of the length of time being around, 
uh, you know, your survivability. I'm one of the oldest players out there, so. Uh, but then again, my thing is about, isn't about simply beating everybody around me. It's about being the free-to-play free to, free to play player uh, and how long I can survive in the game, how high up I can get. And I'm still climbing. I'm, I'm still climbing. I'm in the... Uh, 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 on in the uh, level of class level of uh, 25 that's your top level uh, there's still a lot of, lot more to go uh, you can't go the castle can't go any higher than or kingdom can't go any higher than 25 but I've got a new uh, YouTube stroll to, to go through uh, it's gonna have the same base but I have a lot more places to go to now. Um, to uh, Clintus, uh, when I got to Clintus, he used to do a lot of vlogging in his trailer. And I really liked that. And so I found several families who uh, live in RVs and they've gone around and uh, they're sort of traveling on the road with their kids. And, and it's sort of nice to sort of see as a sort, the sort of travelogue. Uh, in, in combined with the family vlog, and I noticed like 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 uh, they talk about it. Uh, both uh, our family nest and it, uh, our family nest and uh, family five vlogs, uh, both of them uh, talk about uh, the reality shows that talk about uh, Love Island and Big Brother. There uh, apparently a lot of people are fans of these uh, reality shows. And for me, the vlog is the reality show. That's that's my reality show. Uh, I get enough dynamic in the vlog, particularly the vlogs I choose, uh, that you actually have uh, a very good reality show. You can actually sort of have the sort of uh, same uh, um, sense of entertainment with a good vlog and the dynamic of the people or the person in it. Uh, in other words, it's just basically the conversation. I know it's Clintus gets uh, tongue-tied every now and again. And a lot of it is that uh, when you're talking to the camera, you feel, okay, I can, I can talk and I can say things to you that I can't say to other people. But at the same time, you know, it's rough, get, it's, and what's the thing, it's rough getting older. It, as, you get, as you've been around long enough, you've done the same thing again and again and again. Uh, he's the type of person to always look for something new, but uh, if nothing new comes along, then he kind of gets into a bit of a bind. Uh, but I guess that's per who Clintus is. And this is what you kind of get to see it, it, with a vlog or something like that. You get to see who the people are. And I think it goes back to the whole thing, the whole, whole perspective of you are worth it. And you see that in many cases, there are times there are people who, who don't feel the worth it. They, they, that they don't feel, oh, I'm the greatest person around. I am worth it. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice, positive affirmation. But the reality of feeling good all the time is just not there. And more often than not, you're going to have to be persevering through some pretty tough times. Uh, everyone's going to have not only a little bit of rain come into their life, but you're going to have storms. And the only way to describe it is a shitstorm. Uh, these things aren't nice. They're not fun. Um, but uh, with the prayers and uh, some good meditation, prayers are from meditation. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays I do the uh, fasting meditation. Uh, with these meditations and the focuses the in, within the meditation, particularly to, go, to God, um, uh, that will remain to be defined later on. But... Uh, You get through the things. You get through the tough times. Anyways, it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not. Uh, no refunds.